So it's been about an hour since I started this hike, but I took a good 15 minutes. I think I'm about up there. So after hiking on the stop raining, which is good. So after hiking on a relatively flat level for about at least an hour, this is when it gets pretty tough. It, you go high, you get to a higher elevation, and every every step just feels like a lot. I see more Tory gates. A lot more effort. So after hiking for more than an hour, I finally see Tory Gates, and I'm like, okay, that's a good sign. This must be near my goal. So I almost just tripped and completely fall there. So after about 30 minutes of non-stop uh, steps, I finally get a smooth path. So in this part of the trip, it did rain, but nothing too bad. The hardest part of this hike was definitely the, the steps in the second half of the climb. The sign says beware of boars and monkeys. Plus, I didn't have anything to drink. There must be an alternative route. So I'm about 75% to the top. So in my other video, the left path would be mostly just this, exactly like this. And the other path is all forest and jungle-like, with high stepping stones. And there we are, we've made it. That's the top. The shop to the left, there is a giant place to pray on the right which is above more steps So here you can offer or set up a candle and pray for good luck for your family, your business and such. I was very happy reaching the top. Of course, I was tired and I really, really wanted something to drink. Thankfully, they had a vending machine up there. But yeah, I recommend going to Mount Inari. You don't have to go to the top, but 
visiting there and just climbing as much as you want. It's just a beautiful experience and I recommend it to everyone.